Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back with another video for Altenu. This is a YouTube pop, so there are a ton of prizes to win from Altenu. Uh, they are always very generous in their giveaways, so stay tuned for the information on how you can win one of those gift cards. You can also always check out the description for more information about the giveaway, the prizes, and all of the products I'm using today. Now, I am starting with the Whimsy Motif 3D embossing folder and the coordinating layering stencil set. I fell in love <laughs> with this embossing folder. I sort of ordered it as, you know, I have an idea with it for a clean and simple card and it's a nice enough embossing folder um, that I would like to have in my stash, but honestly, this is one of the most beautiful embossing folders I've ever used and it's a really, really simple one. So. I don't think it's going to catch many people's eyes, but I don't know. The arrangement of the flowers is just so pleasing to the eye. It just works really, really well. The balance is perfect. I don't know any other way to explain it. And it sounds a little bit, you know, like an empty marketing text. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really love the uh, flower arrangement on this embossing folder. So I'm starting out by just embossing it um, in the center of my panel. Now, when I'm embossing things with a 3D embossing folder, especially because that adds a lot of dimension, I do two things. One, I work on a larger piece of cardstock than I need. So I can trim it down later because the added dimension shrinks the paper in some places because you add height to the paper you lose a little bit of length here and there so your edges are also not going to be super straight anymore depending on the embossing folder um, so yeah you might want to start with a larger piece of cardstock than you need and then trim it down after it's embossed the second thing i do you'll see it again for the second card i make i wet my cardstock a little bit and this loosens the fibers of the paper and um, it's just going to give you a nicer result because the paper isn't going to tear in any of the places which is beautiful <laughs> so yeah, work on a larger piece of cardstock when you're embossing with a 3D embossing folder and trim it down later and also wet your cardstock. Just, I mean, it doesn't have to be wet, wet. Just have to be, it has to be a little bit damp. Um, and I always dab away any extra moisture with a paper towel. Um, so yeah. Then the layering stencils, which I'm working with now, are super easy to line up because of that dimension of the embossing folder. So you can just kind of slot it in place and you can feel it when it is nicely lined up. Um, I am using some beautiful dyeings from Altenu. Uh, the pinks are from the Rose Petal dye ink bundle, so it's four colors in a little bundle. Um, from light to dark and I really really love these but I especially love the darkest shade in it I forgot the name uh, you'll see it again uh, near the end of the video when I'm uh, finishing up my second card because I'm using that same pink again but that lar that darkest pink is just so stunning it's exactly my kind of pink <laughs> I really love it for this card, I'm actually going a little bit out of my comfort zone with the colors and I'm so happy I did. I'm going to be using some gray for the leaves and grays are tricky sometimes with ink because you have warm grays, you have cool grays and sometimes some grays can look a little bit green. But these grays I'm using right now, again, forgot the name of them. <laughs> though the uh, ink bundle name is the rock collection ink um so beautiful grays but these two especially um i will list them in the description below they are super neutral which is perfect for gray it's what i usually want in my grays i want a neutral gray no green shade to it no blue shade to it 
Um, and they can be really hard to find. So I was really happy with these. And they are just so such a nice balance for that really bright pink. Stunning. I am finishing this up with some metallic watercolors from Fine Tech or Colero. Um, it's Colero. It's definitely Colero, but I just keep calling it Fine Tech. <laughs> um, and I'm just adding in the details of the leaves because there's really only one layer stencil for the leaves. And I added a little bit of shading there by using two shades of ink, but I want to make those, make the vines pop a little bit more. Um, so I'm going over that with some metallic paint. And this takes a while. Uh, I think I spend eight minutes painting this, um, obviously. That's not a super long time, <laughs> um, but for such a small piece and for really just lines, uh, it's a little bit longer than you might think it is when you start out. It's just a really simple thing to do, but you want to take your time with it so you don't slide off those raised lines from the embossing folder because yeah, you want a nice crisp thin line just take your time, be patient and enjoy it. <laughs> I really love painting over an embossing folder like this. It's a little bit fiddly, but it forces me to slow down and I really enjoy it. I am going to add a little strip of gray cardstock down the bottom of my card panel and then I can prop up my um, embossed panel on some... Um, some scrap pieces of cardstock. I layer those up with liquid glue and that's just going to lift up my panel just the slightest bit to be raised up over uh, that little gray strip. And I'm going to use my new favorite die set. I love a great sentiment die set and this definitely is one of those. This is the Timeless Sentiments die set from Altenew. It's new from this November release. And it is just great. It's a great timeless font and it's also nice large sentiments. I, I usually grab for this size of sentiment, but I don't have a ton of them. Um, I, I have a lot more smaller sentiments in my stash and I think this is just the perfect size and I can't... <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope I'm not going to use this on every single card <laughs> for the coming year or so. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a must have in my opinion. It's a great, great sentiment I said. Uh, I am going to do this all over again, but I'm changing up my sentiments and the arrangement and the colors and I'm only changing up the sentiment product. So I'm not really pulling in much else. You can do this with another one of those timeless sentiments dies. Um, but just by changing up the color and where I emboss uh, my image, it's going to change this card up so much. It's going to look completely different. And I just used the same embossing folder. Now this is the classical sentiments better press plate uh, set. And I love better press. If you're new to my channel um, or if you discovered me in the last couple months, it's probably because of a better press video. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I, I love 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 better press but what i love even more than just the better press thing on its own is that you can use the better press plates to hot foil with now this is a a little bit different i want to say it's exactly the same but you want to do one thing different and that is leave your plates on a little bit longer than you would for a hot foil plate i feel like they don't take the heat as well as the hot foil plates, these better press plates. So I always leave them to heat up just a little bit longer than I usually would. Um, and that seems to do the trick. So I am aware of the embossing I've already done. So I don't um, cover my entire 
card panel with the plates of the glimmer system. Um, so really, it's only covering that uh, better press plate that I'm foiling with. Um, so it doesn't ruin the embossing. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what I was going to say there. I feel like my sentence wasn't finished, but I think it was. Um, so yeah, just don't cover your entire panel with those uh, plates for your uh, glimmer system and then you're golden. I am going to use the same pinks here because I fell in love with the pinks and that's that's the color. It's the cosmic berry color that is just the perfect shade of pink for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I use those again for the flowers and then I'm going to pull in some green for the leaves and it's going to look completely different than the gray card I made first. Um, but I just, I love both of them. This looks so much like a spring card and the other one looked a little bit more, I don't know, elegant, less less playful. I feel like this bright green um, makes it look very, very fun in a way that the other one was not. Though I love both cards. I, I really love these uh clean and simple cards. Sometimes I enjoy making a more intricate card, a lot more actually. Um, but when a clean and simple card design works out, I'm so much happier with it. Because when it really works out, it's just so satisfying to look at. <laughs> I really, really love these two. Uh, I think the balance worked out perfectly for these. And most of that is down to just the image of the embossing folder. I think it's a really well-balanced floral image and it's just so easy to work with. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm pulling in some gold paint to finish those leaves and add a little bit of golden accents to, you know, pull in the gold of the sentiment as well. Uh, because for the other sentiment, for the other card, I used a rose gold that was pretty much the same rose gold cardstock that was pretty much the same as my uh, rose gold watercolor I used. So yeah, having those tiny details uh, be the same color as your sentiments really pulls everything together. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to add any embellishments to this card. To the other card, I did add a couple of pink gems, but yeah, you could have left those out. It would have looked just as nice without them, probably. So for the giveaway, there are $300 of prizes up for grabs. There are four $50 gift cards up for grabs and one $100 gift card. So five prizes in total to win on this video hop. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video and hop along to the next one. So in the description below, you will find a link to the next video in this hop and also the previous video in this hop as well. Uh, so you can hop along and see all of the amazing inspiration from the other designers in this hop and get more chances to win one of those five gift cards. Who doesn't love a good gift card, especially for Altenew? <laughs> So yeah, these are my very clean and simple cards. Both used the same embossing folder and stencil set. I absolutely love the Whimsy Motif embossing folder. It's such a good one. Um, yeah, I, I just, I love it so much. And usually I have a better explanation for why I love products so much. But this one, I don't know. It's just so pleasing to look at. <laughs> I hope you like the cards and I hope you like the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments below because I would love to read them. And don't forget to play along for the video hop as well for those gift cards. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos because I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.